Hey guys, myself Rakesh and in this video we are going to learn how to update pip in PyCharm. Okay, how to update pip in PyCharm. So now, uh, first of all, I should know which version of PyCharm that I currently have. Okay, so for that, let me open um, command prompt and check what is the current version is actually there. So if I type PIP version, okay, if I type PIP version, it tells me uh, I have 22.1.2. And in case you do not have this latest one, how to upgrade, I have shown in the previous video. How do you upgrade your PIP? In the PIP uh, video, in the previous video, I have shown that. Please do watch it. So now in this one, let's focus on, here I have 22.1.2, right? Now if I go to PyCharm, if I go to PyCharm, uh, if I see it is having 21, which is quite old, 21.3.1. Now it is 22.1.2 .1 is available right now how do i update this so and why even i have to update this first of all okay why i have to update this let me show you why i need to update it first of all so here um, if i type pip in list okay pip in list i have a package installed called camel case and this package is already there in my system so in PyCharm, if I go back here, if I go, I do not see that camel case. I do not have the camel case and I would like to add it. I don't want to, if you simply type camel case, okay, if you type camel case, this is one way, um, you know, the single word, okay, camel case. So if you type this camel case, um, here you get an install button, you can directly do it, but I want to teach you something advanced, okay. So here, um, when I go for install, uh, when when I try to add this, okay. So how do I add it? I don't want to install it from this way. Rather, I would like to add it. So I'll go to installed. I'll click on installed, and here I would like to hit on add package. So when I click on add package and from disk, I'm going to provide the path of that package, okay. So let me show you where is that actually available. So I'll go to C drive. And then I'll go to users and then your username, whatever your username is, go there. And there is something called uh, app data. Where is that? Yeah, app data. It is a hidden file. Okay, so view hidden item should be enabled. That's where you will find the app data. So here I have the app data. Let me go there. And there is something called roaming. I should go there. And then inside this, I should have Python and then Python 3.10 and then site packages so this is the directory where you have all your packages now here i already see camel case so i'll click on this camel case and i'm going to copy this entire path i want to copy this entire path and then if i try to add this package and hit on ok what happens it is going to throw me an error it says hey you cannot install this package because your pip is is an older one okay so see it gave me an error now if i copy this error it tells me um you have an older version see you are using pip version 21.3.1 on pycharm however the version is 22.1.2 correct so i need to install this uh, pip which is a uh, python uh, package manager so to do that they have given a command i just need to copy this command to a notepad open a notepad let me paste it over here let me remove all this commas okay let's copy this entire thing let's go to the command prompt and here i'm going to paste this entire thing and hit on enter so uh, by running this command this is supposed to uh, see requirement already satisfied pip collecting pip so it is going to upgrade in pycharm so it is already upgraded for python but again for pycharm is a different pycharm is a different application right so here it is saying successfully uh, uninstalled pip 21.3.1 okay then it's supposed to install the so this is how i'll be installing the or upgrading the pip in pycharm okay so let's wait for some time okay one second okay i think it is done right successfully installed pip 22.1.2 now let's uh, go to uh, let's open pycharm and okay 
so here I need to probably restart by chum right or if I refresh does it happen no okay so it has uh, see 22.1.2 just .2. by changing the tab it has updated okay now let me hit on add packages from disk and add a package I'm sorry this is not the path right what was the path this is the path so camel case I would like to install so enter this hit on ok okay so what's happening installing package failed installing package error occurred what is the error uh, camel case does not appear to be python project neither setup ui nor python project dot uml found so i am not able to add the package um, let's do one thing Uh, 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 camel case where is the set of files here okay if not uh, the other way we can do is um, this is a different way uh, to install a package let me show you that let's go over here so this project is in python.exe right so uh, I need this entire command Mm, 3.10 C drive upgrade okay so let me copy that previous command okay the previous command which we have taken right so let's copy that okay here it is let's copy that let's go to windows command prompt and here pip install upgrade I want to install uh, camel case so let me do it this way instead of this let me write it here camel case okay let's try it this way let me open the command prompt once again okay let's try this okay that's getting installed okay so just trying different ways to get things done okay so finally my camel camel case is installed very good for PyCharm application now let's go back and open PyCharm uh, now it is only three things showing let me just refresh like this hopefully it will come okay there you go so you can see camel case getting it so this is a learning for you guys um, you know trying different ways to get things done so in the pie chum now the camel case is there now if I let me use it okay camel case import camel case okay um, now let me create an object called X and then let me say camel case dot camel case function so I'm creating an object with this and now let me say print and then say x dot hump you know it will change the whatever the input I'm going to provide let's say I'm going to provide uh, hello all lowercase I'm providing okay? hello world now if I run this see it has already changed it to all into a camel case hello h capital W World. so it is changing the first letter of every word to a uppercase um, camel case okay so this is how it has been done so let me write it to small w uh, run it okay fine guys so this is how you have learned a lot of things now so thank you for watching please do support me i need your support please do subscribe to my channel and help me guys let's meet once again in our next content till then take care bye bye